So underneath the vehicle, I'm gonna take off this cover here. The cover has one, two, three, uh, four, five screws for this. I'm gonna take off this to put it to the side. So very simple. These usually don't turn, so you probably have to put it uh, wise grip on it, but I loosened them before for transmission flush, so they're pretty loose. But you see this one's kind of jammed. But this should all come off just like this, and this thing should just pop open, all of them, and then you're good to go. Yeah, it doesn't open on you you're just gonna use the vice grip to hold on to it and all i can say is good luck so i'm gonna get this guy out and then we should have the cover out it's a bad design aluminum into metal of course it's gonna lock up and i had this thing open probably four months back doing a flush not even four months back a few months so i'm gonna get that that cover out, gonna get this cover out, so just push back on it. You're gonna see all kinds of crazy stuff down here. That can sit down there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this, so it's gonna release pressure, and it's gonna start to come down faster. There you go, perfect. That's what I like to see. Always check your cap. If this is broken, replace it. We're gonna save this over here, so we know where it's at. Um, so meanwhile, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this turbo. Okay, so we're gonna take off this bucket over here for the transmission. I'm sorry, not transmission, coolant reservoir right here. So what we'll do is we'll take this off first. So you need a flathead screwdriver. Just remove this little guy right here. And this guy comes right off. And you should be able to... Ah, there you go. This guy should be able to uh, come apart just like that. Put that to the side. Now you'll have more room for this reservoir. Let's take off this cap. Don't worry about spilling anything. So empty this out too, put fresh antifreeze. Even though this is empty, we're gonna put this away. We're gonna come back. Okay guys, I'm gonna take you guys one thing at a time. So my antifreeze is still draining. So we're gonna take off this clamp right here. You could take off this 10 millimeters and move this whole thing away. But I don't like to do that. I'd rather take off these vacuum lines. So I'm gonna just play around with this little guy to break the grip loose. And make sure you don't you don't squeeze it because if you squeeze it, you will break it. So I just want to break the grip loose on this. And once the grip breaks loose, sometimes I end up breaking stuff, but just take it easy. It's plastic, you know. So I just want to take off all the lines. And I'm gonna try to keep this pipe as one piece. And we're still over here. We're gonna remove this little guy right here. Okay, there you go. That's out of the way. So what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna go get more tools. Okay, next step, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna loosen this, okay? And I'm gonna loosen this, okay? Whatever is the be best option, if it comes this way, that way, or if they both come off, easy good for me but over time um within 10 years this is gonna become so hard that if you try to take it apart it's not gonna come apart and uh if you want to go with the, uh, you know what uh let's take off the whole filter housing so everything can just stay as one piece so there's a couple of clips on this little guy and uh i'm gonna go get another tool okay so we're gonna take off this clip right here i'm using this fork you, if you don't have this fork you could use they usually break but you could use this or uh uh, flat hat screwdriver so my car is kind of high because i'm flushing the antifreeze from the bottom so i want to disconnect this sensor also right here and there you go once you disconnect the sensor this whole thing should lift out of here so what we're going to do is we're going to keep this whole piece together or if you want you know what we don't want to break nothing so we're going to leave it as it is so we're going to have to okay we're going to take off the 10 millimeter right here very important you keep this safe and make sure you don't drop nothing inside the engine or inside the exhaust. So this guy is gonna come off and this guy is gonna come off and this whole thing is gonna start to remove. If you wanna take this off, it'd be all up to you. So what I'll do is, let's give it a temp, you know? You never know if you got lucky here. So remember how we broke the grip loose on these and these pipes? Same thing, this thing is gripping on for so long that it's probably not gonna come out on us. So let's give it a try, you never know, you know? We're gonna leave it alone. We'll just take the whole thing and put it away. But this is bolted in the bottom 
and uh, you got a whole bunch of number 10s over here. So we're gonna take off these two 10 millimeters and then uh, we'll come back. Okay, what we're gonna do is 10 millimeter right here and 10 millimeter right below that. They both gotta come off and let's see. Okay, once they're loose, you should be able to turn it by hand. If the car is very, very old, if you're watching this video 10 years from now, these are probably not gonna come out that easy. Put them somewhere safe, cause you're gonna reuse these same bolts. There you have it. So this is just a whole bunch of vacuum lines here that's going to it. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take off this bracket right here also, this two 10 millimeters. It might give me more room to work on the bolts on the on this uh, air duct down there. Okay, we're gonna take this 10 millimeter with extension here. I'm gonna take this off. And then I'm gonna take off. You know what, let me get that bolt out of there right now. I'm gonna get that off. And this guy comes, this is where the reservoir for the coolant rests, it rests on, rests, like it sits on it. So now it's gonna give me more room to work on the bolts going across. So here it is, we're gonna put this away and come back. Now we got this 12 millimeter socket here. We got about, um, I would say six to seven inches long extension with the three eight dry ratchet. We're gonna go down there. There's two bolts here, okay? You're probably gonna drop them. Um, both of these bolts are connected to this little guy. It's holding this to the turbo. So it's not gonna come on so easy, but 10 years from now, that bolt is gonna be so rusted, it's most likely gonna break. But remember, the turbo brings a new stud. You're probably gonna have to order a, a new nut. Let's see, I gotta lose. Let's see if I can put my hands in there to grab the nut from right here. There's one on the opposite side, but on the opposite side is a bolt, not a nut. So on the opposite side, you're gonna take out a complete bolt. So I'm gonna just show you this and do the same thing on the other side. And then we will take off the whole air duct system right here. Come on up. Okay, there you go, it's coming out. And there it is. Save this guy and we're gonna I'm gonna take off the other side and then we'll come back. So I got this off right from down here and uh, 12 millimeter is about an inch and a half long and I'm gonna put this away and now we're see this whole thing start to move only thing that's holding is this little guy and I, I gotta take off this clip I'm gonna put this over here I gotta take off this little clip right here so to squeeze this little guy just pull you could take off the 10 millimeter it's all up to you or just get this whole thing out of the way and uh, pull on this tab and this guy should come off but if it doesn't I'm gonna take it off so I was telling this guy, my friend here, this is this was gonna screw me. So I was trying to get that off, but I don't wanna waste my time on that. So we're gonna break this loose. So now we got three 10 millimeters, two from down there, one from over here. Keep them all together. And uh, this bracket should come back a little bit. Cause the bolt's gonna come and hit this. Just pull this bracket back with it so you have more room. And there you go. So now, we should be able to, all I did was pull this little guy. We should be able to, probably not be able to. Let's see what I'm doing wrong here. So this guy should be able to come out. So that stud is holding us apart. Things that are bothering us is over here. Let's take a look right here. So we're gonna remove this clip right over here. So squeeze on this and get this turbo solenoid uh, sensor off. And what we're gonna do is right down here, you got two vacuum lines. So I would suggest take off these, you know, you see how I messed up? I should have taken these off first because I thought I was gonna get this off, but this gotta come off back about an inch and a half for it to come off. So these are vacuum lines. There's no liquid in there, no pressure. So just get them both off. So one is fat, one is skinny. You can't go wrong, okay? You cannot place it at the wrong spot. If you do that, you will you might not be able to put them on okay so it probably are gripped on so break the grip loose and take these off and then we'll come back 
Okay, I have to take off these two vacuum lines. I tried to take it off here, they wouldn't come off, and then I took it off right here because this held this pipe has held themselves. So remember, pop this open, break the grip loose, and let's see if this baby all comes out as one piece. My tools are falling away. Let me move my tools. And uh what we're gonna do is this whole thing comes off and there's got to be a seal here you see that black seal right here the o-ring make sure that you don't lose that okay let it just sit right here and that's it and we got plenty of room to work on everything so <coughs> first thing first we're gonna take off a whole bunch of cooling lines remember we empty out the system so there should be there might be cooling in here but not a lot and whatever is in that bottom pipe right there we might have to save it down and uh, we might have to put a bucket in the bottom. So take off this little guy, take off that pipe, and uh, then you can bring everything out with the, all these pipes and swap them onto the new turbo. So, and these vacuum lines can come with it, but they rot right through these lines. So get that all off. So let me get more tools. Okay, now um, we're gonna take off this sensor right here. So this sensor is clipped on right here. So first, uh, let's disconnect this little guy. You squeeze on this and you pull this off and uh, you're gonna squeeze this little tab right here this guy's gonna come out of there we're gonna take this off right here most likely it's gonna break unless you take it easy but usually they break and you could use a strap tie after that okay, there you go and this guy comes out of this housing right here so let's open this up so if you're putting a new sensor this will be the process right here you're gonna need a socket uh 7 by 18 this is 3 8 dry rat long ratchet so it gives us good leverage so we're gonna turn this counterclockwise and that's how you're gonna turn this baby out of there and you turn 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 and this guy is gonna come out simple and easy look at that we're gonna put this to the side do is we're gonna remove this little bracket right here so it has a 12 millimeter right down below here and once you take that 12 millimeter off this bracket is gonna come loose very important you put this on because your air duct housing uh, sits on top and once it's loose this guy should just come off by itself with the bolt there you go that's where the bolt was at so I'm gonna put this away and then we're gonna come back and remove the shield step we're gonna remove some of these bolts okay i want to get to these bolts first 12 millimeter this is one and there's one below that okay we can take this shield off later let's just take this top shield off this this two pieces okay and you know what we're gonna have to remove the other one too because there's bolts on it so let's start with one at a time let's get this guy off it's limited space here okay it's limited space so let's work on Okay, we're back in business we're gonna take off the 12 millimeter right here not the four not this one right here. this is 14 we're gonna take off this 12 millimeter over here and uh, we'll take off the cooling lines later because i don't want to see no spill there's one more over here so these three bolts one two three that i just showed you is for the top shield this is one should be coming off by hand now Two, and then this little guy and there you have it okay now we're gonna go further down and we're gonna remove this guy right here if it gets stiff on me I'm gonna come back and remove the other two so let's start from this guy first keep the bolts together in order and that way there's no long or short bolts so pretty much we got a couple of vacuum lines and the air line from the bottom and it should come out and there's one bolt all the way down over here if you guys can see right here i'm gonna take this guy off right here and there's three bolts on the shield so that one's kind of loose let me see if i can get it off by hand There it is. And then we got one over here. 
and our shield very important you put these shields back okay if you don't all these wires and everything's gonna take the heat probably gonna destroy your sensor wires okay there's got to be another bolt because it's not moving okay I see one more bolt I see a few more bolts down there the shield goes all the way down there so I guess we're gonna have to keep following it till all the bolts come out it's jammed up there's no other bolts you need to remove so it's kind of stuck there and I just yanked it it probably was corroded with the rust and it was sitting there for so many years so three bolts I'm gonna put them away just like that so we got a 14 millimeter right here my ratchet is ready and ah, this is not gonna be easy be careful when you tighten it because it's into the oil pan because you don't want to over tighten it and crack that pan that's one you got to take these off because your canora got to come it's got to drop down about a quarter um it's got to move out of the way this is the only way it's going to move and this bolt is ridiculous long and make sure you put them in because if you don't the whole muscle muffler will rattle around so i'm gonna keep these bolts down here and we got one more over here should be very simple to get to same thing this one's blocked into like the engine okay so once i have this off we'll come back and remove the two 10 millimeters for the oil okay so i'm using a 14 millimeter deep socket if you could get a little bit longer than that it'd be better if you could grab it right there so i might get an extension but let's see how this works out for me okay this is this is not gonna work out for me i'll be right back at another tool another temp with this 14 millimeter here i got me a long leverage ratchet with the extension right here ah this baby's not coming loose so what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this guy up these bolts out so i just want to get them hot and then I'll, I will continue you're not gonna see the whole thing so i'm gonna heat this heat this and then heat that bolt four bolts and then get them out and then once i have them off i will show you so this gasket's only gonna go one way okay if you try to tempt it any different way it's probably not gonna fit so you see it's only gonna fit one way if you try it any other direction you flip it turn it twist it it's not gonna fit so we're pretty much done i did put the clamp onto this pipe and uh i did put this one in and locked up these two bolts so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little guy It's probably gonna give us trouble there you go and once it sits it should go into both of these bolts we're gonna have to oh my god yeah what's up okay i'm gonna have to kind of twist it and turn it what is bothering me what is bothering me here Well, I don't have the back for this. It's gonna come up more. There you go. There you go. It's going in. It's gotta twist it a little bit. It's gotta get twisted. Okay. Wow. Okay, we're gonna pause the camera and try again. Okay, guys, so. It was an aligning so what I did was I grabbed this once I had it sitting right on top of the bolts and I just used this to twist it okay all it needed to be a little bit twisted okay that's all it needed to be okay so I'm not gonna lock up these bolts because the bottom bracket might give me trouble so we're gonna go down to the bottom we're gonna finish everything up in the bottom and then we're gonna come back we'll drain the oil also and then uh we'll put antifreeze and everything back together we'll come back to the top later okay right here you have one bolt nut i would heat the crap out of it heat the crap out of it heat the crap out of it and that's how you're gonna remove these make sure you put a new gasket to change this converter and uh if you need to get to the oxygen sensor right there bank one sensor two so there's only two sensors on this guy and they connect to the top very easy to do so but anyways that's it it's very easy to change this converter or the turbo it'll probably take you a good two three hours and should be a simple job though 
Okay guys, everything is done. Got the four bolts in. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna tighten these. Make sure your gasket's in there. Gasket is very critical. If that gasket's not there, your turbo is not gonna boost like it's supposed to. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock up four of these bolts and that's it. And uh, if you need to turn them by hand, turn them by hand. If you can get it without it, good. So I'm gonna finish this out and then we'll come right back. Give me about five minutes guys and that's it. So very important, you put the shields on and the same bolts. It's a big fat hole over here. Make sure you don't drop nothing in there. You drop your bolt or a socket, forget about it. You're gonna have to take the whole thing apart. Not the whole thing, but this side of it. Take off at least the canard right here. And the shield goes on. And then we got one bolt sits right over here. Camera can't see it, but they're all number 12, so lock them all up. I'm gonna get them in hand. Very important shield because this protects all the plastic components from being burnt, like sensors and stuff here. So this is in, this is in. I'm gonna just lock them up with my 12 millimeter here. This is on. And this is two. And this is three. Okay, perfect. Off two. So this guy was from right over here. I'm gonna put it back. I took this off because it gives gives me a lot of room, a lot of clearance. And it's a it's a 10 millimeter here. And I'm gonna lock this up. Number 10, and then we'll go further. Make sure this goes clips on right here. So this is bank one sensor tool right here. This is downstream sensor. The one we took off from right here was an upstream sensor. So this is done. I'm gonna finish that up. The second shield. Then we had a bracket here, and then the oxygen sensor. Okay, so it's gonna catch the threads here. One, putting it back is much, much easier processor. Pro processor, I meant to say it was a process. And uh, there's one down here. Okay, let's see if I get my hands on it, right here. can't see where it goes. It goes right here. There you go. You got to kind of lift it up. Catch the threads. And now we can lock this baby up. Okay. There you have it. One. Oh, not this one. That one's already done. Two. And three. No one ever will ever know that you changed the turbo down there. There you have it. Perfect. 12 goes onto this, and this guy goes, it's like a little notch there. The notch goes between here. So you can start the bolt and then twist and turn and get it to the proper angle. But it needs to sit on the notch. If it doesn't, nothing's on the line on the top. Your air duct pipe is not gonna line so let me catch all the threads I can here there you have it I'm gonna get my socket here I'm sorry my second extension here so I can capture it from right down here and hand tight that's it bada bing bada boom our sensor this is the upstream up, upstream sensor okay Bank one, sensor one. This only has bank one, even though they call it a bank one. If it's a V6, then you have a, then it's a different story. So I'm gonna get the correct tool for this. And uh, we're gonna just finish it out really quick. So we put this tool on just like that. Make sure you don't damage the, the cable there, okay? Go easy on the sensor. And, oh God, we dropped the little guy from right here. The little grommet from right here. Uh, but I don't know why I was sitting there in the first place but we're gonna lock this up nice and tight and uh, this guy goes in right here usually my clips here break but it's not going anywhere so this can just sit right here it'll snap into there 
and this goes into this clip right here and then the sensor connects right there okay so that's done uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to fish that little piece and then we'll come back okay we got the air duct housing sitting there number 12 bolt goes on this side and the nut goes on the other side use a little piece of paper or plastic bag here you're not gonna see it i'm gonna use the light try to give me some light over here like this and uh i'm gonna go from right here you can probably see it from right here shoot the camera from right here right there right there and let's see if i can get it in the hole there you go perfect and wiggle it around perfect the bag is gonna fall the bag is just gonna sit there if you're not worried about the bag and uh that's it we're gonna come back up and do the second bolt okay so here it is second the other side is a nut right here using the plastic little piece of bag to help me get this guy in the spot and that's it all i'm gonna do is lock up these we're pretty much done here so make sure you connect the sensor here make sure you put the clamp here make sure you put um the pipes vacuum lines here make sure you put the clamps in make sure you put the reservoir in here with the, the with the base first and uh and that's it everything is done and make sure you put the two bolts here make sure you put this the vacuum line one is here and the other one's here and then the airflow sensor if you don't put that in your car is probably gonna not start or act stupid anyways uh thank you for watching this video don't forget to put the oil in don't forget to put the coolant in and I'm going to do a separate video on the coolant, so we're going to continue a little bit further. But then you got to let the car run. It's going to cycle, and um, the coolant's going to cycle everywhere. It's probably going to go down, so you're going to have to check it twice. Every other day, you're going to have to check for a few days, and it should be good after that.